Right, the Jobs Summit wrapped up yesterday. Government, business, labour and community organisations came together to accelerate job creation under this current fragile economy. Market analyst from Lahumo Investments, Maori Lentswane, unpacks its importance and effectiveness for us. Thank you for joining us this thanks, morning. Thanks for having me. Right, so what were the main target areas of the Jobs Summit? Just give us an overview of what, what were the, the desired outcomes. Look, I think, I think uh, the, the, the crucial point, and I think which is very, very positive for, uh, for South Africa going forward, is that um, you know, after a very long period of a, what we can actually call a distrust between you know, government, uh, business, and, and, and labor, we saw the gathering um, together uh, of those three uh, uh, parties, you know, convening to talk about the issue which is at hand, the issue of, of, of which is a crisis of, of job creation. Um, you know, recall that for the past 10 years, we really uh, saw the distrust between all those parties. And I think for me, uh, the first point was encouraging to see all those three parties coming together for the first time really having a concerted effort moving in the same direction to try and address the issues because there's no single um, party that can actually address the issue of the uh, problems that we're facing alone. We need this uh, concerted effort. For, so for, for me that was uh, the big point and um, the discussions around how can we then you know try and ensure that there's job creation in the country. A number of uh, uh, you know, points we, we mentioned in the, uh, firstly, the fact that there needs to be a reining in on some of the excessive executive pay um, to try and make sure that at times when times are tough, everybody pulls in the same direction. So there has been a commitment to say we're not going to see massive increases among the executives when the poor people on the ground are suffering. The other issue was to deal with the issue of corruption, uh, which there were uh, agreements signed, undertakings that we're going to deal decisively with uh, corruption to try and make sure that we eradicate these problems uh, going forward. So it's very positive, but of course the implementation is what is even more crucial going forward. So have, have decisions been made in terms of policy restructuring? Um, um, there, there's got to be a give and take from yeah. these three parties. And, and, and despite that distrust, what were the other um, stumbling blocks or the blockages that were preventing from those three um, elements coming together to, to effectively uh, create more jobs? And not just jobs across the board, but especially jobs for the unemployed youth. Look, in the past, and I think we have to borrow from the past as to how did we get it so wrong, Firstly, there's a government um, in there as the player. And, and the government plays an important role. The government is not a job creator, but the government must create an envir enable environment for jobs to be created in terms of policy, um, certainty. And, and we have to agree with me that there's a, so much uncertainty. Uh, there was so much uncertainty in the past, whether it be on the policy, the mining charter is, is one of them, uh, a number of other policies that are still being discussed and being finalized. So you need government to create an enabling environment uh, to be able to you know, allow business to then create those jobs. Because ultimately, it's the, you, it's the, it's the function of, of business to create jobs, not the government. No. So foreign investment plays a, a big role, and obviously foreign investor confidence in terms of creating that or enabling that um, healthy environment for jobs to be created. Yes. Was there participation from foreign investors um, big conglomerates and corporates who are not necessarily South African but have strong operations here, were they present? Yes, there was a lot of representation in there. There was um, a delegation from New Zealand uh, which participated uh, as well in there. So a lot of this was being watched, not only domestically but also by the international investors um, to see uh, to monitor precisely what the conversation is about uh, and what's the um, you know, process going forward and what's the outlook going forward for our economy. Um, I think many investors will be watching also just the, uh, what, what is unfolding in our country, um, whether, be, whether, whether they are in the country already or they are sitting outside and watching it from outside. They will be encouraged by what they see coming out of this um, uh, summit. But of course, we've got to implement in order for us to really bear the, enjoy the fruits um, of the summit. Absolutely. Ultimately, you can only talk for so long and then there's got to be action. Implementation. Right. Absolutely. Thanks very much for your time and for joining us today. We'll be back shortly. Do stay with ENCA now.